What is up, team? Chuck with Traders War Room, and I'm back at you with another video. Listen, this is your Thirsty Thursday video, and we're going to talk about things to potentially be lotto picks for Friday and also stuff to push on into the next week and further out down this market calendar year. But what I want you to do right now is hit that like, share, and subscribe button, and I want you to come along with us on the journey. Check the description tab out. Tons of tools and tidbits to make you a more successful trader and everything Traders War Room product and service related links right there at your fingertips come click them learn share grow together and always we want to make some money now if that sounds good and you're ready to rock with us then all i got to say to you is follow me and let's go to war Legal disclaimer, Traders War Room wants to remind the viewer that this is not financial advice. All content on this channel is for entertainment and education purposes only. You're responsible for every decision you make. We want you to have fun, use caution, and always go to war. Please check out our website, traderswarroom.com, the true one-stop shop for all products and services. We are constantly updating this. Lots of new stuff coming. Lots of things in the future coming as well. So come check it out today as it's always evolving. You can find services like Traders War Room one-on-one -on -one mentoring. If you need a little bit of refinement or you just want to check out a new strategy or develop a new strategy or even just kind of look into your trading style, man, you can book a session with us and it's one hour focused on you. Come check it out today. Book right from the website and we will get you spun up. One of our hottest products and services is the Zoom classes. Guys, we have upcoming classes available almost on the weekly, and we got a huge library of historical classes, all 15 bucks, all click buttons. The upcoming classes, you click, you purchase, you buy, you register from the email that's automatically sent to you, and we'll see you there at the live session. But if you can't make the live session, don't worry about it because every purchase gets the recording of all live sessions, and then we put it onto the historical side where you can purchase any of the classes that we have and watch it right there from the website 24 7 truly fantastic products and services only at traders war room and only on traderswarroom.com and then when you're ready to elevate your game we're ready when you're ready guys the traders war room discord this is our flagship okay all the real-time buy and sell alerts. We got free and paid services. Look, I could talk about it, but man, I'm just going to show you the flyer. You can look at it. All the products and services speak for themselves. We truly got a fantastic community over there. You need to check it out today. When I say we got products and services, I mean that, guys. Listen, we got everything from live trading, bell to bell, real customer service, the quant data flows. We got more than 23 analysts that give you the real buy, sell alerts. We got a fantastic community that talks in there. You got real access to professional traders from the bell ringing till the bell ending right there on this one server. Check it out today. You will not be disappointed. Oh, and did I mention we got the best AI signaling bot out there, okay? A true terminator with the stock market. This thing is going off and it is fire, guys. It uses machine learning technology. We had a software engineer develop this. So this is the real deal McCoy, guys. Come check it out only on Traders War Room and only on the Discord. A list of our upcoming classes and promotions will be at the end of this video. So let's get into some real stuff. That's the reason why you guys came to see what's hot and what's not in the stock market. Extra, extra, read all about it, guys. The Traders War Room Buzz Report kicking off right now. Here's how your market's closed. Pretty strong closing. It was kind of flat after the initial push in the morning bell. Kind of the afternoon dragged along, but it definitely picked up steam in power hour. 
and closed really strong. Here's another representation. Now, I do want to hit on this. I got asked a lot like, hey, why is the stock going up? But my contracts and option trades were not going up. Well, it's because a lot of you have expirations that expire tomorrow on the 25th. And because of the intrinsic versus extrinsic value, even though the stock is going up, the likelihood of it hitting in the money to give it the extrinsic value is the probability is lower. So that's why you can see the stocks rising and having a good day, but your option contracts are still not peaking yet. Hopefully tomorrow get a big push and a lot of your option contracts will be at least green or potentially hedging some of the potential loss moving in the right direction. But that's just a short answer on why, hey, the stock's going up, but my option contract continues to go down. It's because of the intrinsic and extrinsic value associated with your contract and theta kicking in going towards expiration. Sector performance, energy was the lowest one on the totem pole and technology brought in hard. Now, a lot of this was because of Apple's killer day today. Remember, Apple is such a big market cap. It holds a lot of weight in its particular index. Also, materials are something to pay attention to because they are picking up steam as well. And here's your futures. Remember, futures are just a glimpse of what could be, not what will be. We use these only as a way to strategize and plan a assault and attacks the next day. Total premiums, calls versus puts. A lot of money going into Tesla. A lot of money coming out of SPY. You got NVDA. You got the Qs. All the big names here looking kind of a little bit more to the bear side, at least initially. But we do got some big money coming in to the buy side as well. So it'll be interesting to see how this market plays out when the bell rings and how we close for Friday. Top tickers. And we're going to talk about a couple of these, especially NEO and some of the weed stocks that we got in here because they are popping hard. But I want people to understand that just because they popped hard today on Sanus, a lot of these weed type of stocks likes to pop hard and then people ride these down. It gets a lot of sell-offs. Okay, so we got to pay attention, but we're going to go over the charts here momentarily. Top news, U.S. tech giants face tough new rules as U EU countries lawmakers clinch deals. So Alphabet, Google, Amazon, Apple, Meta, and Microsoft may have to change their core business practices in Europe as EU countries and EU lawmakers on Thursdays clinch a deal on landmark rules to curb their powers. So definitely pay attention because this could send shockwaves on a huge run that they had today. This could definitely put shockwaves in this and this may be an opportunity to get some puts in and ride them out a week or get some good lottos on some downward pressure we'll have to see what happens next top news story was hershey workers at virginia plant vote against unionizing so workers at hershey's company second largest u.s manufacturing plant voted against unionizing even as unionization efforts have gained momentum among low paid workers at large u.s corporations so definitely interested to see the story behind us and we'll pay attention to this and see how it affects this particular company and its stock all right, and finally, inside China's electric drive for swappable out batteries. A year ago, Tesla dismissed the alternative path of electric car battery swapping as riddled with problems and not suitable for wide scale use. It seems Beijing disagrees. Now, on this one, I want to pay attention, okay? That's the main difference between like a Tesla and a Neo, okay? And Neo has built its idea that you're going to be able to swap out the batteries. So you go to like a gas station and the gas station you pull in and they swap out the battery right there and you leave. Okay. It gives you, you know, like 300 to 500 mile charge. And it's just a simple process. Also, you know, places in China, since they got a larger population in a smaller area, this makes sense to them. I don't know if it may would make sense to us here in the States in certain cities. Yeah, probably, you know, maybe LA, Chicago, you know, New York, stuff like that. But over there, it makes sense because a lot of them live in apartments and high rises. They get parking garages and they could do the swap outs there and stuff. So it definitely is interesting, but I would like to see how they got this as a business model and how it actually works with the battery swap because the idea sounds okay and I can see it making some money and being a good alternative, but I'd like to see it, how it looks in a business format and how it 
runs on operation. So definitely paying attention. Neo should see you know quite a little bump, especially if this business proposal has some great avenues and people can physically see it you know making sense in the future all right let's go ahead and look at some stocks and some charts all right starting off with spy killer day for spy now i do want to pay attention here we kind of you know hit an area where we got some decent resistance okay so i would not be surprised if spy pulls back a little bit we definitely pushed above that 61 percent from resale line now i got a feeling we'll probably come back and test right there at the line you know that 448 definitely is in the realm and I would feel safe probably seeing a little bit of a dump. You know, I think SPY takes off, gets a nice little boost at the bell, and then we start cooling down pretty good. And coming back to test, um, I don't know if we'll come back all the way and test 440, but it'll be interesting to see how this closes because I do think that we're due for a little bit of a retest to a lower level. Hopefully then from there, next week continuing on to upper levels. Paying attention to the SPY, and then we're paying attention to DIA, okay? Remember, DIA is the ETF that's covering the large caps, okay? Basically, the Dow. A very similar chart. Um, the Dow closed. Dow has a little bit more room to grow, okay? Um, depending on how the big cap um, is due tomorrow would be interesting. I'd like it to kind of test up there at around, you know, the 347, 340, you know, 348, 349, maybe even 350. I'd like to see it test that. And uh, it all depends on how much volume and money flow goes into the bigger cap stocks. So we'll definitely pay attention. But I do think we got a little bit of upside on this particular ticker. Apple being a king again. Now, people count Apple out. And we've said this before, you know, when's enough enough with Apple? Well, I do think we're probably approaching an area where we're going to see some resistance all right and especially with that big news about potential technology companies over in europe and you know curbing their power and stuff like that so definitely you know people are going to start thinking about profit taking here pretty soon especially going into friday they're not going to want to hold um you know anything you know near term over the weekend so they're probably going to start looking for profit taking cashing out and going cash on hand over the weekend so look for some downward momentum in apple coming out the bell tomorrow i'm not saying we won't finish strong but what i'm saying is people are going to take some profits so make sure if you're green secure your profits especially if you're expiring tomorrow so NVDA, man, strong close, um, had a fantastic trade with this. We made money both ways on this today. If you guys were part of uh, Traders War Room 3.0, you guys were in there live while I was trading the stock, man. We were doing our thing both ways. We were able to catch a nice solid put on some weakness, and we were able to capture the reversal and ride this up for some calls. So definitely a valuable stock. I like this thing going forward. I do think that we're probably headed for a little bit of a cool down going into the weekend, but we're approaching a period to break out from our last strong resistance point here at about the 282 area. So it'll be interesting to see how we play when we hit that battleground. One of my favorite semiconductor trade stocks here, MU, um, it's been kind of beat up a little bit. Now we're still on the daily, we still got a buy signal, but we've definitely not risen up as we thought we were going to breaking out of the pattern. And I do think that we're headed in the right direction. I think we're going to start test $80 and then we're going to hit some resistance. And if we can hold up pretty good, like I think we're probably going to be able to do because it's definitely wanting to run, we'll probably bolt out of there and then it's on up to the next level which would be the 50 percent fabricio line so i do like mu moving forward i think this would be a good candidate for a swing trade especially if you're able to catch us on the low i wouldn't be looking for this to trade other than extreme um at the money type of lotto trades and they're probably going to be relatively expensive i wouldn't go too far out the money on some trades if i was looking to day trade this but looking for a roll into next week you could definitely go a little further out on the money all right let's talk about ford so the trade we had with ford didn't do so well there were some recalls and it gave us some 
not as much steam moving in, closing out this week. I still like Ford moving forward. I think at the level we're at, we're starting to consolidate. I would be looking to push out some contracts a week or two on this particular ticker. I think we're going to see $18 here sooner than later, but we may not be able to hit it this week because of that negative sentiment um, article that came out with the recalls. You know, they were talking about, you know, it's 160,000 vehicles, their trucks. This is the third recall on the same topic. So definitely gave us some negative PR, but I still like where we're at. We're consolidating pretty good. And I like this to push over 18 here in the near future. All right. So let's talk about some weed stocks. All right. Now, listen, be very cautious with these stocks. Okay. These are meme stocks and these are ones that get a lot of money pushed into them, but they tend to fizzle out and stuff like that. So I want you guys to be very cautious. These could potentially run and when they run, they run hard, but I want you guys to make sure that you're protecting yourself. So if you start to see some things on the stock chart that's showing bearish sentiment, probably a good time to secure your profit if you're in profits field. But we're looking at potentially this going up to $7.25 where we have a little bit of resistance. And if we can break through there, especially with the federal um, news about giving you know the We Talks another sit at the board meeting and things like that, this is definitely interesting to see if we can push through so paying attention to Tilray but also be very cautious because what goes up must come down and these weed stocks like to come down hard another one is ACB this is just like Tilray it didn't move quite as dramatically as Tilray but this one still is moving in the right direction I would prefer this one for a call over Tilray just because I think Tilray has a little too much too soon. This one, I think we could see some upward pressure. Um, we definitely got some resistance points around there at the $450, $5 range, but we could potentially make some decent money on this one, especially if we cool down after hours. So after hours, it pumped up a little bit. I'd expect some downward motion to kind of come back down towards the 450 425 area. And then from there, once we see the reversal we can definitely start thinking about some calls moving forward and trying to make some money on some good cheap lotto plays now this one's interesting i want you guys to pay attention to this this is in the medical um technology area okay and you're starting to see a lot of money flowing to these med tech and these pharmaceutical companies they're cheap people are starting to get interested in them especially as they're waiting for their other speculative trades to make some money for them so pay attention to these because these can move quick but this one has a breakthrough on one of their devices that they have and it's interesting i don't know the specific details i don't want to speak about it. you guys can research it yourself but the breakthrough is something on diagnostic type of therapies and it's interesting because this is huge news and gets a lot of people invested in these things. Now, what usually happens with these is they spike up very quickly. The news comes, it fizzles out a little bit because they realize that the testing is going to take six months to nine months and 12 months to actually be applied on people and so on and so forth. But we catch it while the iron's hot and we can make some decent money. So pay attention to this one. And if you start to see some volume come into this one, this might be a good thing that you could potentially catch a good banger with a dollar, maybe maybe $2, maybe even $3 moves if the news is good enough. All right, so last one I want to talk about is some of the banking industries. All right, you got Bank of America, JPM, Wells Fargo. They're all about the same. Right now, they're consolidating down here at this lower level, okay? They had the little spike up, and it's been cooling down a little bit. But down here at these Fabrizio lines, the 38% between the 35% and the 40% Fabrizio lines on each of the stocks, they're kind of consolidating a little bit, which gives me the impression that we're probably looking for a move. I wouldn't be surprised if these things try to peak up, but fail closing out this week because of people not wanting to roll with these over the weekend. But pay attention to this because if you go, oh, if you were to get in on a good price and think about going into next week and maybe even two weeks out on some of your contracts, you'll probably be pleasantly surprised with what the financial industry is going to come with here in the near future. I got a feeling, you know, we're done. We found the bottom and we're just trying to make way on our ride up. So we're kind of doing a little ladder effect, you know, two leg strategy. We're rolling up, going to cool down, consolidate a little bit, roll back up, cool down, consolidate. So I just think we're in a cool down period right now. I do like this moving forward. Wells Fargo, Bank of America are my favorite choice. JPM, Goldman Sachs would be my second favorites. And I do like these going forward. 
I've told you guys this before and I'll tell you again, okay? A true one-stop shop for all traders and investors. Now, let's see what Traders War Room has upcoming and what kind of promotions we got. This Sunday, 27 March at 1 p.m. Central Standard Time, Traders War Room is going to teach you guys how to trade candlestick patterns. Man, we are going to light your way to financial freedom. Now, check out a little promo I made for the video, and it has pretty much kind of what we're going to cover. The time to wallow in the mind Try now we can only lose And our love become a funeral pyre Come on baby, light my fire Come on baby, light my fire Try to set the night on fire And then the following week, kicking off April, we have our NFT classes, man. We have a subject matter expert coming in here, going to talk to you everything NFTs. He's going to tell you what are NFTs. He's going to tell you what they do, and he's going to show you guys how you can make serious money with this booming trend, guys. So definitely, if you're interested in this, and especially that blockchain technology, NFT class is where you want to be at Sunday, excuse me, Saturday to April at 1 p.m. Central Standard Time. Don't miss this. Register on the website. And for you Discord owners, if you guys have a Discord server or another server, even a Telegram server, and you guys want some professional analysts on your server to give your members that edge, we got you covered, guys. Hit us up at the email, traderswarroom at gmail.com. Drop us a little inquiry, and we can talk to you about our bots that we have. I got a litany of 10 of these bots, and they're all analysts, top rating, pushing out buy and sell signals, information signals, watch lists, you name it. We got it here at Traders War Room. Check us out today, especially if you're a server owner and you want to upgrade to your server to giving your members that edge. All right, team, that's a video. I hope to see you on one of our upcoming classes or in our Discord server or even on any of our other social media sites. Please remember at Traders War Room, we look at the stock market like a war zone. Stocks and sectors are our battle. We do it together as a team. Attack, conquer, destroy, and we're always going to war. Now, if that sounds good and you're ready to rock it with us, then all I got to say to you is follow me and let's go to war together.